Unit 2, page 13. Read. Exercise 2. Read and listen to the text. No pain, no gain. David Simmons comes from London, but he's in China for three months. He's a student at the Deng Feng Kung Fu School. In this interview with Martial Arts Monthly, David talks about life at the school. Tell me about a typical day. What time do you get up? Our routine is the same every day. We get up at five o'clock and start training immediately. We haven't got time to wash or have breakfast. If we're late, the teachers hit us with sticks. How do you train? First, we train our legs, arms and stomachs. We run up and down 1,000 steps and do press-ups. The training is very, very hard. How do you understand the teachers? Do you speak Chinese? A little, yes. <laughs> but the teachers speak English, so I don't have a problem. When do you have breakfast? At half past seven. We have rice and soup. Training starts again at nine o'clock. We practice hitting with our hands. We learn to jump high and to kick too. At eleven o'clock, we take a break for ten minutes, and then training starts again. When do you stop for lunch? At twelve thirty. But of course, our arms and legs hurt after all the training, so we stretch for ten minutes and then we have lunch. After lunch, we have a long rest. Do you train in the afternoons too? Yes. I like the afternoons because we train with sticks and swords. Is it dangerous? No, not really, because we don't fight. We learn how to defend ourselves, not to hurt other people. When does training finish? At six o'clock. We have a shower and have dinner at half past six, rice and soup again, then we go to bed. What do you want to do when you go back to Britain? I want to start a Kung Fu school in London and teach people Kung Fu. <laughs> I also want to appear in films as a Kung Fu fighter. Unit 2, page 15. Grammar. Explore. Exercise 1. Listen and check. Do you enjoy competitions? Yes, I do. I love the excitement and the traveling. Do your parents travel with you? No, they don't. I travel with my trainer, Martin Atkins, and my brother, Nathan. Does Nathan take part in the competitions? No, he doesn't. He just watches. Do you do any other sports? No, I don't. I haven't got time. Unit 2, page 15, Grammar, Exploit, Exercise 4, Listen and Check. Where do you live? I live in Vancouver, in Canada. Who do you live with? My parents and my brother. How do you relax? I read. What books do you like? Crime stories are my favourites. When do you see your friends? In the evenings and at weekends. Unit 2, page 16. Vocabulary, exercise 2. Listen, repeat and check. 1. Ice skating. 2. Photography. Three. Computer games. Four. Football. Five. Jogging. Six. Rollerblading. Seven. Chess. Eight. Athletics. Unit 2. Page 16. Listen.
Exercises one and two. Listen to four teenagers talking about their hobbies. One. Oliver. I love all kinds: adventure, comedy, historical. I watch films every weekend. I've got a big collection of DVDs. My favourite films are the ones my family watch with me. Because then we can talk about them. I read film magazines, but I don't buy them every month. I read them at the library. Two, Lauren. I don't go to school by bike. I go by bus with my friends. But every weekend I go cycling with my brother Michael. We've both got expensive bikes. I ride a Spanish bike. I love it. It's silver and black. Three, Nick. I've got a computer in my room, and I use it a lot. I visit chat rooms and chat about new games. It's really interesting. My friends and I meet after school every day, and play computer games for two or three hours. Four, Rachel. We don't do it at school, but I go to a club near my home. I go on Thursdays, and I have lessons there. It's a difficult sport, but I really like it. My best friend goes to the same gymnastics club, so we have a good time together. Unit two, page seventeen, grammar. Explore. Exercise one. Read and listen to two teenagers. I always have football practice on Saturday morning, so I get up early and have a big breakfast. After football practice, I go home for lunch. In the afternoon, I usually do homework, but I sometimes play tennis at the sports club. I hardly ever watch TV during the day. The programs are always really boring. In the evening, I always go out with friends. We often go bowling. I'm usually in bed before midnight. I usually get up late on Saturday morning. I never have breakfast. I watch TV for an hour, and then I usually check my emails or visit a chat room. After lunch, I go shopping. I look at the new mobile phones, but I never buy a phone. They're always very expensive. I always go out with friends on Saturday evening. I'm often out until eleven o'clock. Unit two, page seventeen, grammar, explore, exercise two, listen, repeat, and check. Never. Hardly ever. Sometimes. Often. Usually. Always. Unit two, page nineteen, language skills, exercise one. Listen and check. What's your favorite sport? I love tennis. Really? How often do you play? I usually play every week on Saturdays. Where do you play? In the park. No, I go to the sports centre with my brother. Mum drives us there. Does she play tennis too? Oh no, she doesn't play. She just watches. I play with my brother. Do you usually win? No, I don't. He's a really good player. What about you? Well, I like watching tennis, but I never play it. I don't know how to play. Come with us next Saturday. My brother can give you a lesson. Everyday English two, teacher's book, page one hundred and four, giving an opinion, exercise one. 
Read and listen to the dialogue. Do you like football? Yes, I do. I love it. Who's your favourite player? Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney? Really? I can't stand him. He's terrible. Oh. Who do you like then? I like Steven Gerrard. He's okay, I suppose, but I prefer Wayne Rooney. Everyday English 2. Teacher's Book, page 104. Giving an opinion. Exercise 3. Listen, repeat, and check. He's terrible. I can't stand it. I hate them. It's awful. He's all right. She's not bad. They're okay. I love it. She's great. They're brilliant. Everyday English 2. Teacher's Book. Page 104. Giving an opinion. Exercises 6 and 7. Listen to three dialogues. Dialogue 1. Do you like sport? Yes, I do. What's your favourite sport? Volleyball. Volleyball? Really? I hate volleyball. It's so boring. So, what do you like then? I like athletics. Ugh, athletics is awful. And I like cycling. Yes, I like cycling too. Dialogue 2 Are you interested in computer games? Yes, I am. I love The Sims. It's brilliant. It's OK, I suppose, but I don't really like it. What games do you like? I love Chess Master. Really? I can't stand it. And Kung Fu Challenge is great. Yes, it's brilliant. Dialogue 3 Is that a wildlife magazine? Yes, it is. I'm really interested in wildlife. Me too. What's your favourite animal? Sharks. There are so many different types. They're fascinating. Really? I don't like sharks. Look at these dolphins. Do you like them? Uh, let me see. Hmm, not really. I don't like aquatic animals, but I like the elephants. Are they African elephants? Yes, they are. I love African elephants. I prefer them to Asian elephants. Me too. Skills Roundup. Page 21. Listen. Exercises 1 and 2. Listen to the information about swimmer Ian Thorpe. Ian Thorpe is a famous swimmer. He's from Sydney in Australia. He doesn't swim in competitions now, but he's still very popular in Australia. And he's also popular with millions of people in other countries. He's very tall, nearly two metres, and he's got very big feet. Sport is very popular in Ian's family. His father, Ken, plays cricket, and his sister, Christina, is also a swimmer. Ian Thorpe is an Olympic champion. He's got five gold medals from the Olympic Games in 2000 and 2004. He also holds two world records. But Ian Thorpe is not a typical Australian sportsman. He isn't really interested in other sports like football or cricket. His hobby is fashion. He wears expensive clothes and has a company that makes jewellery.